you've had a good week. Welcome back to Monday Club TV. Nice to have you with us. Um, today we're going to hear from Scott, then we've got a craft and then some news about the Soak the Leader competition. But we're going to start off by handing over to the postman. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Postman Pat's Weekly Jokes with me, Pat. Um, as you guys can see, I'm not at the post office because it's closed today, which is very, very annoying. So I've had to come here. Uh, I've got to stay at home. But I'll be back next week at the post office, I can promise you that. My mailbox has been absolutely full with jokes from you guys, and it's made me so happy. So thank you to everyone who sent in jokes. Right, so let's get straight into these. So, uh, Fia from Primary 2 has sent in three jokes, and I'm going to give them to you now. Um... Why did the cow cross the road to go to the movies? That was awesome. Good one. Next one. Um, what did the tree say to the tree? Leave me alone. <laughs> that one got me laughing earlier. Um, next one. Why did the pony get sent to its room? I couldn't stop horsing around. Right, next up we got Thomas from P4. We've got another three jokes. Next so, first up we've got, uh, what do you call a dinosaur that's made of cheese? <laughs> Gorgonzilla! Nice one. Right, next joke we've got, uh, what did the cheese say into the mirror? Hello me. Hello me is an amazing cheese, I definitely try it out. Next up we've got the final joke here from Thomas. Uh, what cheese do you use to hide a horse? Mascarpone! That has got to be one of my favourite cheeses there. Those were some really cheesy jokes from- <laughs> Thomas, thank you so much. Um, right. What was that? <gasps> More jokes, let's go! Why does a giraffe have a long neck? I don't know. Because he has sticky feet. Do you organise? A uh, space party. You plan it early. Well, thank you, postman. Um, taking you out to the garden because we're thinking about things that grow. I wonder if any of you planted your sunflowers last week. Well, we're thinking about things that God helps grow in our life, the fruit of the Spirit. So last week we're thinking about love, and I wonder what today's fruit is. We'll hand over to Scott. Today's fruit of the spirit is joy. That's right. Joy is this week's fruit of the spirit. Now, I wonder how are you feeling today? Are you feeling happy? Maybe you're feeling happy because you've been playing in the sun. Maybe you're feeling happy because you've had your favourite thing for lunch or for tea. Maybe you're feeling happy because you get got to play with your brothers or sisters. Or if you don't have any, maybe you're playing with your pet or with your favourite toy or something like that. And maybe that's made you feel really happy. Maybe spending time with family makes you really happy. On the other hand, it could be that you're feeling really sad and really down. And why would that be? Well, it might be that you were playing outside and maybe you fell and hurt yourself. You might be feeling sad because you had an argument with your brothers or sisters. Maybe you're feeling sad because you've lost your favourite toy or it got broken. Maybe you're feeling sad for other reasons. We can feel happy and we can feel sad. But what does Jesus want for us? What does Jesus want? Does Jesus want us to be happy? Well, let me read these words from the Bible. These are Jesus' words. He said, I have loved you even as the Father has loved me. Remain in my love. I have told you these things so that you will be filled with my joy. Yes, your joy will overflow. Now what is Jesus saying there? Your joy will overflow. Does that mean that we'll always be happy, that every day we'll have a smile on our face, we'll always be in a really good mood and things will go really well. Well, no, he's not saying that. What he is saying is that whether we're happy or whether we're sad, we can have joy deep down in our hearts because we know that he loves us. Okay, bye. Well, thank you for that, Scott. And thank you to those who sent in jokes to the postman before that. Um, it's time now for our games and crafts slot. 
and this week it's a craft. Now, it might be a wee bit tricky this one, so I've emailed out to those of you who are on the mailing list instructions of how to do it bit by bit, or if you want instructions, do get in touch, but Summer has done a really good job in explaining it to us, so we'll hand over to Summer. <laughs> I'm Summer from Monday Club, I'm one of the leaders um, and today I got put in charge to do your craft. So the craft that we will be doing is a mini origami heart and I tried to get the easiest one out there and I think by far this is one of the easiest ones to do. So you're going to start off with a square bit of paper and fold it in half like this and fold it in half again to make an even smaller square so it should look like this. You're going to want to open it up and fold one of these flaps so get a square and fold it in the way so it looks like this you're going to flip it over and the side that you just folded you're going to fold it in like you're making a paper airplane so put both corners like that so then you've got that you're going to flip it over and one of these sides you're going to fold in the way like this so you've just folded it in to both sides okay so you've done that and now you're going to get this corner and put it to this corner in here like that Once you've done that, you're going to want to fold it in half. This bit may be a bit tricky, but you should simply fold it. And you should have these bits here. You're going to unfold it, and there's a little flap in here. You're going to want to tuck it into the flap. So it looks like this, and you've got these flaps left. You're going to open this up, and you should see it starts to bend. So you want to fold this in the middle like that to both sides so once you've done that you've got this you're going to want to do this take this side sorry and fold it in like you've done to previous sides to make little triangles at the top and you're going to flip it over and you see this you're just going to fold it down until there and do that for both sides and there you have it a little origami heart bye guys okay so kenny you had a wee go at that craft didn't you and how did you get on okay kind of shall we have a wee look at your attempts Okay, so it was a bit tricky, but you got there in the end, and you see if you can have a wee go at that too. Now, we're almost at the end, but it's time to tell you about the Soak the Leader competition. Now, we're going to do it a wee bit differently than we normally would on a Monday night. And what we're looking for is you to vote for the person that you want to get wet. And what we'll do is we'll count up all the votes, and then in about four weeks' time, we'll film the, the person you want to get wet getting absolutely soaked. And I'll make sure it's properly soaked, not none of this little bit of water nonsense. So let's see who the contenders are. Okay, so these are the contenders. So what you need to do is get an adult to email in to mondayclub at kamileys.co.uk the name of the person that you want to get soaked. And each week you get one vote. So this week you could vote for, say, Scott, and then next week, say, Scott, and the week after, Scott, or whoever you want to, to get wet. Um, so you can vote for whoever you like, but just to help you out with spelling, S-C-O-T-T, -T, that's Scott, but obviously whoever you want, we'll count up the votes and the winner or loser, however you look at it, will get wet in about 
four weeks' time. So I'm looking forward to that. OK, we're at the end of the club for this week. Uh, remember to send in jokes or messages to the postman. Um, if you've managed to make that heart that Summer was showing us, you can send in a picture of that. And then, of course, your votes. And we look forward to hearing from you. But let's just remember what Scott was telling us about, that there's some things in our life that can make us feel happy. There's some things that make us feel sad. But throughout our life, as Christians, we believe that knowing Jesus with us gives us a deep down joy through it all. So I'm going to finish by saying a prayer. God, thank you for the things that make us happy in our life. Help us to know a deep down joy throughout our whole lives, whatever's going on. Amen. Okay, thank you for joining us and look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now. Oh, <laughs>